Uh, right, so just we'll just chat a little bit and I'll ask some stuff off that and then we'll chat. Background, sporting background, what is it? I have none. None no. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, I went and did um, Highland Games a couple of weeks ago and I was in the car with my parents. And I was like, I'm 29, and this is the first time you've ever had to drive me to it's a sporting event. <laughs> so that's nice. That was really so you didn't do like stuff at school? Or? I rode horses, um, and I I played all the sports at school. But I mean, I wasn't. I was a fat kid. I wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't athletic. I'd like to say I was musical, but I wasn't that either. Yeah. <laughs> kind, of, kind of an all around. Just not entity yeah. really. Well right. done, well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me 27 years to find something on. Right. So how old are you? 29. 29. Right, yeah. excellent. So, so how did you get into um, powerlifting or um, lifting? I did a few figure shows. I lost lots of weight and then I thought oh, I'll, I'll try a few figure shows. So I did that and then uh, I went to the gym with a few powerlifters uh-huh. who tried to convince me, you know, you should try powerlifting. And I was like, no, 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 I like my abs, how they are. Um, one of them told me about like a pub comp, like a novice comp right. down in Brisbane. So I thought, oh yeah, right. So I flew down there and I did that. I've never seen a powerlifting comp before. I um, kind of just winged it and met all the other girls and fudged my way through. And uh-huh. at the end, I spoke to the guy running it and he was like, you're all right. Actually. <laughs> so maybe you should give it a go. And then that's, that's basically the history of it. How long ago was that? Two years ago. All right. Okay. So kind of, kind of relatively, yeah, really new. Relatively new then. So, so what, what are your PBs now? As this stand? As a little one, not very good. As a little one. Like one sixty squat and a, what is that? Nine two and a half bench and a one eighty five deadlift. Okay. So that's raw with with wraps. Mm-hmm. Is that as a as a little one? That's a seventy five kilo. Right. Okay. Yeah. And as a what? what as a ninety, about? I was a. 177 and a half squat, a 95 bench, and a 200 deadlift. Okay, so why why the change of weight class? I just wanted to look better. Okay, so <laughs> <I> look <wanted to laughs> look better in my clothes. Um, and then, so, up until now, I was trying to lose weight and train at the same time. Uh-huh. So, now I'm this weight, I'm quite happy to just stay here and, and what, try and train. about 75? Yeah, I did about 78. Okay, that's cool. Cut three kilos. and But if I can train at this weight and try and get stronger. Because you said, all right, I was a fat kid and I lost a lot of weight and then, I, you know, you went and did figure. Has your body image changed? Yeah, I was talking to Mr. George about this morning or this afternoon uh-huh. when we were deadlifting. I was like, how my body looked two years ago when I was competing in figure. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, I've done two years of powerlifting and now it looks the way I wanted what it to look two years ago. Like, it's amazing. Like, you, you stop focusing on it and you focus on objective goals and things just happen but I mean now I look like a figure girl in her off season whereas before I was kind of just chubby and then I'd get lean for, for <laughs> right, figure okay. so I don't know my shoulders have grown my butt's grown my legs have grown like so do you think because you kind of switch focus and um, focusing on, on what you do rather than how you mm. look that that's had a big impact yeah definitely and the I know it doesn't happen to all figure girls mm-hmm. the, the mental state that you left in after a comp, that like powerlifting just took over from that and it, it took me a good year but I started appreciating my body more for what it can do rather than... After you finished competing? Yeah, in yeah. Figure. after about a year of it's powerlifting. Crazy. You, you, we've talked about you, yeah. you really kind of screwed you up a bit. Yeah, I thought I had really good self-esteem and then <laughs> I was like, right, no, <laughs> you don't. Yeah. <laughs> I think I look amazing now, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. That kind of. Yeah. It's, it's a funny one, isn't it, because you with I suppose with something where you are being for a woman you are you are being judged on the thing that you are least confident about and yeah. then all of a sudden just the smallest nuance can, yeah, yeah, can yeah. kind of spiral out of control do you think that when you finished when you finished dieting did that because you've lost quite a lot of weight did that yeah. have uh, uh, an adverse effect on your psyche and food in any way or? yeah definitely because it was like an it's an all or nothing thing yeah with that kind of eating so it's it was disordered for me because I, I went from like strict dieting uh-huh. to right I'm allowed to have whatever I want else I'm going to eat everything. everything yeah whereas now I kind of it's much more balanced like I eat what I want when I feel like it uh-huh. but I don't really desire it that much because I know I can have it yeah, yeah, a restriction. yeah yeah that makes that makes perfect sense 
Do, does your does your eating change around your training? Um, I try to like eat most of my carbs around my training. Okay. That's more a performance thing than anything. <sighs> do you eat to perform now though, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. For the most part. Uh-huh. I still enjoy my food. I'm definitely a foodie. Like uh-huh. on the weekends I'll, I'll go out and I'll eat and I enjoy that side of it. Yeah, I can emphasize. But, yeah. Emphasize even. Yeah. <laughs> With that. That's a British way of saying it, you know. Right. Yeah. I've learned In so Australia, many things. you may say empathise. <laughs> hey, darling, we say empathise. Yeah. No, definitely now if I'm going to, like if I, you have days when you feel like eating donuts, you feel uh-huh. like eating cake, and I just think, well, that's that's cool, I'll just wait until an hour before I'm going to do right. any squats, yeah, and yeah. then that's fine. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. So where are, you, where are you kind of at now with your training? Because you've just um, competed at the... Canadian Nationals mm-hmm. and you've just done a strong woman comp. Yeah. So do you have any plans or are you just kind of mm. not? No. Sure, and sure. anyone that knows me will tell you that I've done comp after comp after comp. Right. And so this is new, new, new nice time. territory for uh-huh. me to just be like, right, well I can just train and fix a few things and take my time and I don't have any plans. Okay, what do you think needs fixing? Well, I've got the hip issue, hip game, so yeah. I really need to build my squat and my deadlift back up because they've kind of been knocked about a fair bit. I've been babying my hip quite a bit and so just finding some, some decent form and working on that. Uh-huh. Excellent. So what would a normal training split kind of look like? Mm, so we train um, conjugate method. Okay. So um, And it's where you train with um, Anna Mikulski, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, so generally two, two max effort days a week and two dynamic effort days mm-hmm. a week. But then that's varied as well, and it's put a fair bit of like rep work into my program. I okay. think just to work on form and and get an idea for the complex again. I've okay. been training Westside Method for a good year. Right. Okay. Now, so it's good to just go through the movements again, rather than constantly being like with bands or with chains uh-huh. or to a box or yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you just train them sort of like what we could call the like the classic. Yeah. versions of the list rather than a variation yeah, of it. Yeah. What's your favourite list? Oh, you know, it used to be, it started off with a squat because I was good at it and then... You always love things that we're good at, don't yeah. you? Yeah. And, and then I was like, no, I really love doing that because yeah. I'm really shy. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know, I got good at deadlifting so I liked that for a while but now those are both pretty shit. So <laughs> I'm, I might take up bench only. <laughs> I'm good at trying to push down. <laughs>